All right, so welcome back everyone to this new tutorial. So now we're gonna be making our final animation in our Japanese street. So I'm gonna be making a walk. I'm gonna be taking a walk in my street over here and we're gonna be recording our camera movements. But before doing that, I would like to show you that button that we're gonna be using, the shortcut. So it is preferences. And over here on the navigation, you can see this fly and walk mode. You can switch between those. Just keep it at fly. And if we just jump into the key map over here and let's search for navigation, you can see over here that I'm using this shift T. You can click on it and set it, for example, to shift uh, R or something like this. In my case, I'm gonna just proceed with shift T. So you can uh, set it like that. Okay, so shift T and I'm gonna hit tab. Oops, we are falling apart because it must be on the, on the ground, just like this. Also, let me just enable all right, so over here, shift T and hit tab. As you can see, we're gonna be on the right spot like this. So we can, we are able to move. So basically, we're gonna be setting our camera over here. We're gonna be recording that movement. Also, I think uh, gonna be slowing down a little bit like this. Or yeah, something like this. Okay, so let's get back to our camera. Select it first. Let's bring our animation over here so the timeline as you can see i already have it animated i'm gonna just remove all these keyframes and start fresh so we're starting from zero so select everything or else we can do it from here so this is the starting point right click and clear those keyframes also over here at the starting point i'd like to set it from zero to 500 okay so as you can see uh, if we try this so shift g you can see that we can move with our camera and if we hit tap, we're gonna fall down because uh, as you know, the camera is not right there. So I prefer this, I'm gonna be adding uh, Shift S, the cursor to the word origin, Shift A, and let's add a plane. Okay, I'm gonna just simply scale it, scale by 20. So S, X, make it only on that. Actually, we don't need it on that because uh, we're already having it. So let's just expand that path a little bit like that. Also, over here, let me just activate the snap tool to the vertex, snap it right there. All right, so let's get back over here. As you can see, we're having a gap over here, but that's fine. So Shift G, but before doing that, we need to rec uh, start recording our camera movement. So hit this button over here and start. So Shift G and let me hit tab and we can start walking over here. Uh, just like this, but I don't see that it's recording. Yeah, let me just check. Stop. No, actually, it wasn't recording at all. No, actually, we got it. Let me just select my camera, and there we go. So now we can see our keyframes. Those keyframes. So basically, the starting point is gonna, for example, from uh, frame 90. Okay, something like that. But as you can see, that it's still so uh, the movements are realistic, but but the the Z movement is not realistic at all. But because you can see over here, it's gonna be fixed at 1.6. So which is not the case in real reality. If someone is recording, it's gonna be going that cycle movement like this, ups and downs, ups and downs. So we need to replicate that effect. So over here, I'm gonna just start at frame 90 and I'm gonna just right click on this Z location. I'm gonna hit clear single keyframe. I'm gonna be setting a new one. So for example, the first one, right click, insert single keyframe like this and i'm gonna jump into frame for example uh 110 and let's make it for example 1.7 okay right click insert single keyframe and we're gonna just keep uh, jumping in 20 frames so jump into frame uh actually we started over here frame i think that's too much so frame 90 frame 100 1.7, right click, insert single keyframe, frame 110, 1 1.6. So basically keep doing this for until you, you finish this. All right, so we got it. Let me just start from the starting point and let's see, as you can see, we got that cyclic movements, ups and downs, which make the, the, the animation looks a little bit more realistic. 